What's up everybody? So I wanted to do this video for a while and start kind of giving shout outs to some of the equipment we have here in the gym. And I couldn't think of a better first one than Spud Ink and Spud Ink products. Because actually everybody who comes in the gym, every workout, they're probably using at least something that is made by Spud Ink. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit of what we have here in the gym and uh, what we use them for. So we're starting in our front room with our winning belt squat here. And on the ground over here, you can see we have three different belt squat belts, a uh, couple different sizes with them. Uh, even if you don't have a belt squat, uh, you may want to get one, especially if you're standing on benches or boxes or something to do them with a loading pin. The comfort of that belt, you can't really beat it. So coming over to our cable unit, we have a long tricep, or I guess it's not a long, it's just the short ab or tricep strap. This thing is used probably the most for face pulls. It's seen thousands of reps of face pulls, tricep push downs, and even on some sled dragging and stuff like that. And you can hear the dog following along in the background. Next up, we have the hamstringer from Spud Inc. I'm actually probably gonna get another one of these uh, to do both legs at the same time, but really good for some isolated hamstring work. We're doing some kickbacks with it, but uh, I really like it for some rehab work on the hamstring. Now we're coming over towards our lat pull down. I'm doing this one handed the whole time. We've got our long ab strap. This one, obviously, right next to the lat pull down, get a lot of standing able cable crunches, ab crunches there. And we don't have anything else in the front room there, but um, those are still used great for Spanish squats. It's, it's been used for face pulls, sled dragging stuff. That one's awesome too. So all these, definitely find them, spudink.com. You can find them on Amazon, stuff like that. Probably gonna have some links below if you wanna get them through Amazon. There'll be an affiliate link, so I'll get a little kickback if you wanna get them through there. So, next one we have, this is rated, it even says it on here, for 20,000 pounds. This is the sled drag strap, uh, the toe strap. I don't know exactly the name they use it, uh, they call it, but if you're going to tow stuff, why not get like the biggest, baddest, heaviest stuff? It's kind of with all the splitting stuff. If you're going to get something, why not get the biggest, baddest there is? So that's always attached to that sled. And now we come over to where all our bands and are hung up and all kinds of other spud straps. So... Let's go through some more of these. If you have the budget for it, from a comfort standpoint, from a comfort standpoint, I can't talk right now, we have the Strongman Harness. Uh, that thing is awesome. It's comfortable. I'll put it on and just drag back and forth for 30 minutes at a time. Uh, it loads a little bit differently than a belt around your waist, which, speaking of, here's your sled pulling belt. Adjustable, you just clip it on. Adjustable for so many different size people, so we can get in and out of multiple clients, multiple athletes, as well as you can spin around, do front, back, you can even go sideways with it. I think I won these in a competition. These are the Zercher straps. I haven't played around with them a lot. They're probably our newest spud strap in the gym, but there's another one that we have add to the list. Now here's one that gets a lot of use as well. This is the upper body sled strap and it's long. Uh, so you can put it through your harness, or excuse me, put it through the toe strap over there, do a bunch of upper body work. Great from a rehab or, or even a conditioning standpoint. Just drag back and forth doing some upper body work. Get a nice upper body pump and some conditioning in. Can't beat it. This is a deadlift strap that hooks on to a, uh, the deadlift bar. You do it if you have upper body injury somehow. You can still deadlift. A couple others that we have hanging up over here. I've got a dip belt hiding back here. We've got the neck harness. So uh, especially with your MMA athletes or our football athletes, we use the neck harness uh, quite frequently. And the other one that if you're a smaller person, I would get, if you're probably 220 up, it gets a little tight. And that is the track harness. So it's a little bit smaller than our big truck pull harness, a little more affordable than the truck pull harness, but we have both of them. So there's a reason for them. Now attached to this rack, we've actually got multiple spud straps, our first rack right here. One of the first things we'll talk about is this is probably the most used. If we had to pick one piece of the equipment in the gym, this might be the most used. This is the Godzilla band. And this is for hanging upside down, doing the low back protocol is what we mostly use it for from Donnie, that Donnie Thompson created. So we not only have that, which is found at Spud Inc., but we have the big ray strap as well, both on the same rack. So here's the big ray strap, allows you to double up, and this is a doubled up Godzilla band. And so you can get in the air a little bit bigger or a little bit better, or if you're a bigger guy, this will support you a little bit better. So you can also change out this band to a smaller, thinner band if you want to not be so suspended in the air. But as you can see is this one is literally built into the rack. We unbolted the rack and built it in because it's used that much. And over the shoulder there, you see, these are the mono lift suspension straps and now the dog is gonna squeak a louder ball. But these mono lift straps, 
Uh, we're, we have them on this rack and we don't actually use them on the monolith, and I'll show you that in a minute. But what we do is we wrap them up to be able to adjust them, uh, not only for spots on squats in case you don't wanna use the safety bars down here, but we'll do a lot of suspended good mornings out of these and you can adjust it just by wrapping it around the rack up there. So I kind of hinted to it and we're gonna move over and look at our mono lift. And that's something that I think every mono lift needs to have uh, some version of these and we have the suspension straps up there so you can get the mono lift straps. We use the suspension straps over here. It allows us to have uh, some variability with adjustments in the height. Um, now I know both, I've seen both the mono lift straps and these in our gym catch a thousand pounds. Um, unfortunately the spotters didn't quite get it, but I've seen upwards to a thousand pounds caught in our gym on those straps. Now, and I mentioned it earlier, biggest, beefiest things you have out there. If you're going to buy hanging ab straps, why not get the spud ink ones? You cannot beat them. They're going to last forever. And if you're going to buy ab straps, get the spud ink ones. Like just do it. Now here's a good one. This is a different piece here coming down to our reverse hyper. We have the reverse hyper strap from spud. Now, uh, on my old YouTube channel, I had a homemade reverse hyper where I built a wooden platform with some piping in, uh, built into my, my power rack. And, and I still, even though I homemade it, went and bought this ab strap. So this one, obviously you can see how dark it's turned. It was yellow. It's used all the time and it, it's held up obviously from not only my homemade hyper. If you want to do that, have a home gym and have some sort of homemade, go ahead and get the spud ink reverse hyper strap. You will thank yourself. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to run upstairs to get to my personal stash of spudding products just to show you guys stuff that I use quite frequently, almost daily and other things that we also have. Something that I had when I was geared lifting, it's actually right here on top. This is a bench belt. So I didn't like wearing a thick power belt while I was geared benching because I thought it affected my arch. So the bench belt, hold your shirt. It's cheap too. Probably 50% of our gym members own a bow tie. So this is a special edition yellow one. I have a black casual one. This is the formal one. I might say recommend get a formal one. Just make sure you get your sizing right. My dad has one. Fiance has one. So, I mean, you see people walking into the gym wearing them. So they've ridden them, ridden their car right here with them on getting ready to lift. We also have a couple different sizes of squat buddies. This is newer from Spud Inc. This might be, no, this isn't quite the newest. Those uh, Zerger straps are newest. So uh, the squat buddy, kind of think of a slingshot for your hips, a little compression, a little assistance on the squat, as well as something that I have, and I've used multiple pair of these, is the Spud Ink, just their straps. Uh, you can see I've used these for throwing practice. That's why they're tacky, stuck on them. I think I have three, four pairs of them. I've got, I've even tried other straps of theirs. I got their Olympic straps as well. Uh, I really like the yellow, those yellow traps, those first ones I showed you. And the last thing I think I have, Spud Ink, if I miss something, I hate it, but these are two different belts. This is a three-ply and two-ply deadlift belt. So there's a reason I have both of them, because they're that good. And I love them. They've even improved them over the years, and those deadlift belts are awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of review of the Spud Ink stuff that we have in the gym. I love supporting this company. They have wonderful customer service. Dale and Spud do a great job. So make sure you reach out to those guys. If you do have questions on their, their products, they'll hook you up in the right way. They'll, they'll set you up uh, with the right stuff. I'm pretty sure that's it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Spud Inc., for always being awesome. And this is our first equipment shout-out of what we've got in the gym.